y'all see the game Michigan? Oh, brutal. Abomination. Oh, boy, I could. Oh, I mean, 78 to 0. 78 to 0. And that's a football game, right? Football game. Division A? What? Division A1 or Division 1? 1A. 1A. But anyway, Michigan, number four, Michigan beat the uh, Rockers. Rockers Scarlet Knights by a score of 78 to 0. It was a pathetic game to watch even if you were a Michigan fan. I mean, they, they probably could have stopped the game at, at halftime and just sent everybody home out and put Rutgers out of their misery, but they didn't. Now, what's interesting is that this kind of brings to mind a basketball game played by Epiphany Prince, who now plays for the New York Liberty. But in high school, she scored 113 points in one game herself when her team, Murray Bertram High School, beat Brandeis High School by a score of 137 to 32. Now, people are saying, you know, in that game, they kind of said, why didn't the coach sit her down, you know, since they were blowing out this team, but he let her play the entire game. But with this game, the Michigan game, nobody's saying anything about why would they run it up. Now, in all fairness, it's kind of hard to argue that Michigan ran it up because they didn't, I think they threw one pass in the second half. So basically, they ran through Rutgers' defense in the second half. So it wasn't like they were trying to run up the score or anything. It's just that Rutgers just couldn't stop their run. So it's amazing. You want to go, Mike? I feel bad for <laughs> Rutgers. You know, look, this was a mistake for them to go to play in the Big Ten. We all knew it. Here in the metropolitan area, they try to brand Rutgers as the metropolitan team, as the team for the metropolitan area. I feel bad for these students who are going to have to go to these games. And the only loss I feel bad for is some of these Big Ten schools because they don't like when they see Rutgers on the schedule. Rutgers, now I know they lost to Iowa. I think it was 14-7 a week earlier. But they're not going to be able to go ahead and compete with these teams in the Big Ten. It's going to, it's ridiculous. That's just embarrassing. I am originally from New Jersey. Rutgers was knocking at my door, at my back door. So uh, I never went. Knocking on your back door to play football? No, no. I mean, you could have played. I, I mean, what do you think? I you got probably had shoulders a, Well, you probably had as much skill as some of the players on <laughs> I bet you I, I could mean, have suited up. You could have. And done a nice touchdown dance. There you go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> twerk, it twerk, out, yeah. twerk it out. Twerk it out. But anyway, <laughs> I think that this game just showed the real disparity in talent because Jim Harbaugh, the coach of Michigan, took out his starters. Rutgers was playing against second, maybe even third string teams, and they still, Rutgers could not score. And like you mentioned before, Harbaugh tried to run the ball as much as possible to run the clock out to no avail.